Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide and episode 13 of Let's Play Planet Coaster. Uh, now I've been speaking about building these rides uh, for a few episodes now. Of course in the last episode I completed my Heritage Pier, so check out that if you've not seen it. And uh, yeah, the plan here is to carry on with two more new rides into this park. We're going with this wooden bobsleigh coaster, as you can see I'm starting with that first, uh, followed by a log flume. Uh, now I love the design of this wooden bobsleigh coaster. Of course, I've never seen one of these in real life. I will be this year um, because I'll be riding one on my USA road trip uh, in the summer that I can't wait for. Um, but yeah, like this looks absolutely fantastic, the whole design of it in the game. Uh, a lot better than the log flume does in my opinion. I'd actually say the log flume is one of my least favourite rides. Same with the rapids actually, I don't think the rapids look that realistic in the game. Um, yeah, I, I, there's something about them that they just don't flow right. Uh, I think the log flume flows well but just doesn't look Look great especially the lift hills uh, and how they work um, but yeah like there's just certain aspects of some rides that I'm not too keen on especially them water rides whereas with this it looks and, and rides just how I'd imagine uh, one of these wouldn't have to see in um, the, the version of this at Knobles like of course the wooden bob say there and um, you know it looks just like it so uh, I can't wait to ride it of course in the summer and um, so yeah we're putting that in and then of course this log flume the layout for this itself isn't going to be really long it's it's only going to be the one lift hill, um, but it's going to have a, a light Wild West theme to it. And uh, yeah, you might be thinking, hang on a minute, the ride vehicles are planes. Well, what I'd like you to do with this when you're coming up with the name is sort of think about maybe it's some sort of inventor. Um, this is one of the only rides in the park that I really want to have a backstory. And that's because it's one of the newer rides in this park. Like this would be uh, one of the last things to be built here, like it is been. Uh, whereas obviously um, stuff like um, the, wood, the the scenic railway, of course, that would have been one of the original rides. The wooden wild mouse, uh, along with that, the heritage pier that I only built in the last episode, that would have been one of the original features of the park. You know, so uh, I've not built stuff in order. Whereas with this, you know, this is in order. This would be one of the last rides. Um, you know, one of the newer rides in this park. Um, but yeah, loving the design of this. We're going to give it that Wild West feel, like I say, uh, around here. So come up with your story. Something to do with, like, some inventor or something. You know, he's invented the first aircraft and, and you're putting it to test uh, around this ride. And uh, yeah, if you look at the ride vehicles, you'll see it when we take you on the ride. Uh, I'll do a POV without the theme in in a second and a POV with the theme in when that's complete later um, for both rides that I'm putting in. Um, but yeah, like, come up with uh, a really nice name for that. And talking of names, get them coming in for the three rides that are built on the pier as well. A few people suggested the names, um, but yeah, I think I forgot to mention, like, I do want some names for them, of course, like every ride in this park. Um, so keep them coming in on the comments on this video. And then in episode 14, I'll reveal the names of uh, this, well, these two rides and the three on the pier. Here's a look then at a bit of on-ride POV. You can see there how, uh, like I say, it is an old school style aircraft. Um, so yeah, like we can sort of fit it in quite nicely into that Wild West, like it's maybe an aircraft hangar where there's this inventor and he's developed the first aircraft. Something along those lines I'd like with this one. So you'll see that we were just making our way over the uh, crest there of the lift hill. Looks really realistic, the whole design of this one. Like I say, it's the first time I've tried uh, building one of these though, so we'll see how it rides. Quite fast, that's what we want though. Oi, a bit of air time. Tried to keep it in, whoa, that's good. Inspired, a bit like Avalanche. I know it's a steel version of Blackpool Pleasure Beach, but uh, made my Mac rides, but you know, that sort of style where you gradually go down descents, not massive drops or anything, just a few helixes and some tight uh, corners. Another little bit there. Hey, up the corner. Oh, that, that was really nice speed, actually. And then uh, up there, yeah, obviously it's got them uh, bits at the side there, what straighten the, uh, the train out back onto the track. But yeah, there you go, really nice. So uh, let's carry on then and think about that second ride. Obviously, I can't do any of the theming really on that first until we put the second ride in, which is this log flume here. Um, just because of how the whole area has been designed, I want it to be quite interactive and uh, lots of hills and trees and a few buildings. It's only going to be light theming. Uh, like I say, this is an amusement park, not a theme park. Hence why, um, you know, some of the rides have got big theme uh, themes to them, like the ghost train and, and this will and 
obviously the Chinese Schwarzkopf that I built a few episodes ago. Uh, but they're not really in their own area, so to speak. It's a bit like Valhalla at Blackpool Pleasure Beach. You know, it's not in a Viking area. It's just a standalone theme. Uh, Wallace and Gromit at the same park. You know, that sort of style. And a lot of Drayton Manor, you know, they're not in themed areas. But, um, you, you know, you've got to ride what's heavily themed. Um, so, yeah, an amusement park style. Uh, so yeah, I'm not a fan of how the log flumes look. I really wanted one in this park, but yeah, I do wish that Planet Coaster uh, would, would change the, the look of the log flumes. I'm not a big fan of the rapids either, like I say, uh, to be honest. I, I just think they just don't look that realistic. They don't flow that good. Uh, but the log flumes flow okay, they just don't look that realistic in my opinion. Uh, but the rapids just don't flow uh, at all in, in my opinion. I'd love to see more done with the water rides, and I'd like to see more water rides. I'd just like a standard boat ride that you could use for dark rides to be honest like uh, not the one that came with the adventure pack with the roofs on just a standard boat ride would, would be great you know like, I feel like there's a lot missing from water rides I'd love like a splash battle maybe something a bit like Pulsar at Wallaby Belgium you know there's just so much room for development in the game with water rides in my opinion they've got the coasters like smack on like they're brilliant like really good uh, and, and they've got a lot of the flat rides correct and the theming's great but when it comes to water rides there's just some Something just not quite right about them and the, the way the log flume looks it's just not right in my opinion um, but yeah as you can see I'm making the best of it because I wanted one in this park uh, it's not the longest of log flumes two lift hills two drops uh, and of course two runoffs uh, yeah and straight back round it's a very simple layout for an older ride even though these are some of the newer rides in the park it's still a, an old school vintage amusement park so I didn't want to do anything too uh, drastic in terms of the layout uh, and you'll see that with the theming you know it's mainly going to be some some landscaping a few buildings for the station buildings for, for, for both of these rides and uh, and yeah that's about all really theming wise and um, other than a few little bits that we'll put about I want it to be a, a fill the space up it'll be probably be the highest themed ride in the park um, you know but it, it's still not going to be too much compared to if it was in a theme park obviously we're in an amusement park here uh, now you might be thinking the land around all the paths and everything is, is full now uh, have I finished with this park so obviously the past couple of parts that I've built on Planet Coaster uh, have struggled with the FPS like I've really started to lose frame rate quite a bit with this one uh, along with it being a vintage park I thought you know maybe I might run out of ideas by now there's still a few bits that I'd like to add to this park and the FPS you know it's doing okay it's not amazing um, but you know it, it's still not too laggy yet so the plan is to go and add one more little area to this park before wrapping it up so uh, that's going to be done in the next episode I'm going to keep it a bit of a surprise what I've got planned for that one uh, at the moment but you'll have to tune in for that uh, because I thought originally this was going to take two episodes but again, much like the Heritage Pier it's come together a lot quicker than what I was imagining I think because I'm used to doing very heavily themed rides like in theme parks when I'm doing amusement park rides it just doesn't take that long for me to accomplish what I want for the area if that makes sense uh, when I've done some of the rides in Volcano Springs and in Ocean Bay Studios it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to whereas these it's not took anywhere near as long you can see there I'm putting in an uh, exit path, a joint exit path there for both rides. One's quite long, but it does take you on a nice scenic route uh, around the whole area. And of course, anybody who doesn't want to ride either of the attractions could just walk down that path, get some nice footage uh, or photos uh, as they walk down there of them two rides. Uh, like I say, we're going to be moving on to the uh, theming for this shortly just here. Uh, and we'll have a little on-ride look in just a moment as well at the uh, log flume, how it looks without that theming. And of course, you'll see by the end of the episode how it looks when all the uh, theming is in. Uh, as you can see then, uh, with the paths following on uh, with some of the, the Wild West style feel paths what are available uh, in the game, and just connecting it up there with the standard paths. Like I said a few minutes ago, it's not a themed area, it's just some themed rides. Uh, this area is a bit of a mismatch of everything because you've got the ghost train next to it, then this Wild West style stuff, then a few random carnival flat rides. You know, it's it, it still got that amusement park feel, and that is what I wanted. But I want, it sort of, you can tell that this was one of the newer rides. Like like the whole area doesn't really make sense and that's what I wanted exactly because um, you know like I say it is an amusement park it's not about immersing you into themed areas that's what uh, that my next park is going to be all about and like I say I've got this shopping mall park coming first and then after that I'm going to be doing this World's Fair park that I've talked about for a long time 
But uh, here's a bit of on ride footage from the uh, log flume, as you can see. Just cut it down so you can just see the drops and stuff. There we are, down we go. Hands in the air, and splash. <laughs> there you go, obviously. It doesn't look that impressive at the moment, but when all the landscaping and theming's put in, I'm sure it'll look much better. Putting in a bit of a pond just next to there as well. Again, you know, I could have put a flat ride in there, but I think we've got enough flat rides in this part now. You know, there's a lot of rides. And uh, like I say, I've got one more project that I'm going to add to this park before uh, wrapping th this one up, you know. And, and uh, there's a lot of rides in here. There's probably more rides in this park than uh, I've built in the previous two parks, actually. And it's took up a lot less space. But I know a lot of you have said this is my, like your favourite part that I've made, um, which is really nice to hear because it's the one that I wasn't that confident about at first uh, because it's very different to what I do I like doing theming and immersion and you know all the areas sort of fitting with each other whereas with this it's not been the case you know and, and it's worked it's come together really well and already here you can see how this area is uh, coming together quite nicely starting to uh, theme up the station buildings and well actually adding the station buildings in uh, around there of course you can build on the grids there of the uh, stations which took me a little while to, to work out that you could do that but uh, there you go that's what the game's all about it's about learning things and I know there's a lot of different keyboard shortcuts and stuff and I do know most of them uh, but some of them I choose not to use because it, it makes it a bit harder for me like I like uh, a lot of people have said oh why don't you copy and paste more stuff I actually find it harder I like you know if I've got to build something I'd rather just build it twice if it's a build Building, instead of uh, just copying and pasting it uh, all the time you know uh, and of course if you were building this in real life you wouldn't just copy and paste stuff you know they've got to actually build stuff haven't they so you know me I like my realism <laughs> I like to uh, do stuff as if it was actually a real theme park but uh, there you go like once I have done my next big project which might take a couple of episodes um, you know then we'll be thinking about I'll be doing one whole episode on just running the park a bit like we did a few episodes back like mid-series and um, just sort of running the park there'll be a whole episode of that uh, right at the end just so I can uh, sh sort of show you all how to run the park efficiently uh, and see how it runs with uh, guests as well anyway we'll have a bit of uh, theme park music a bit louder for you over the next few minutes and then I'll come back and uh, talk more about what I'm doing in the park
So as you've seen over the past few minutes, the area's really started to come together now about putting in all them little details. And uh, I've just seen, you know, I've put a lot of barrels and uh, the different carts and, and random bits of things in like barrels, um, you know, and it all puts the area together nicely. Uh, you'll notice that this looks more similar to what I've built uh, before in Let's Play Planet Coaster in terms of a lot of little details around and filling the space up fully uh, because it's more like what you'd expect to see in a theme park. However, like I say, it is an amusement park Park, but it's a heavily themed ride compared to uh, some of the others in this park but I'd still class this as quite lightly themed compared to some of the stuff what I've done before in the game uh, you've only got a look at the previous couple of parks that I've built on Let's Play Planet Coaster and of course there's a full playlist all about those so make sure you check them out you can go back over two years now is when I first started playing and then uh, watch some of those episodes it's amazing how much the game has moved on and how much new stuff's been added to it and isn't it about time we got a new DLC soon I think something else has got to come soon so I look forward to uh, seeing what happens uh, with the future of the game. I just hope that Planet Coaster in terms of what they're bringing out it doesn't start to stop anytime soon because uh, obviously you find with a lot of games you know at some point they do stop releasing new things and DLCs and you know I'd like to see them do a water park expansion or a water park game maybe a safari uh, style zoo what you could add into it as well something like that and um, you know there's so much potential for Planet Coaster I really hope they haven't like you know I hope it's not coming to an end so to speak uh, with them releasing new things I'm sure it's not but uh, yeah hopefully we get some new DLC soon and uh, like I said earlier on I'd love to see if anything just prioritizing some of them water rides and, and making them look a bit more realistic and just giving us some more options uh, with water rides. I say that the best water ride in the game is definitely uh, the water coaster. Like I built it in the studios part, the Indiana Jones ride. And yeah, it, you know, the water coaster looks great. Of course, modeled off Poseidon at uh, Europa Park. Um, you know, they are Mac rides at the end of the day. And, and it looks really realistic that the way the boats move and everything, the way they look, the track perfect you know so i'd like to see them uh, do a lot more especially since they've done the water coast that's what the newest water ride in the game isn't it really or uh, one of the newest so i'd like to see them do uh, you know more stuff like that and, and sort of go back and rework the rapids so they've got a bit more speed about them and also the the log flumes as well as you can see then uh, more trees bits of shrubbery going in filling in the area quite nicely uh, like I say I've not gone too OTT I don't think on the theming because you know what I'm like normally I'd cover all that lift fill in uh, block all the supports and everything in with buildings and rocks and stuff uh, I am just recolouring uh, the support structure there for part of the uh, cable car um, just to get that right. Obviously the beauty of this game is you can just colour individual supports so in, in each area you can change the colour of them if you don't want to change the whole ride's colour scheme and um, that's a really good part of it. I need to add some sort of supports in just underneath uh, the raised uh, platforms as well for the exit queue and the queue lines here as well uh, because I've not done that yet um, so I'll be doing that shortly. And yeah, it's just about filling things up. I think this is what a lot of people seem to struggle with from reading comments and stuff. You know, it's about really filling out your areas. Like, I don't like space looking too blank. I like to keep things full uh, and, and, you know, just a lot going on. Like, you want your eyes to look at it and think, oh my God, like, there's so much going on, you know. You don't quite know where to start. And when I'm designing in my parks, that's what I quite like to do, really. have lots of little random things. And obviously traveling a lot to different theme parks, I like to think of the smaller little details. And that's what make the Disney parks for me. Uh, obviously, last week I was at Disneyland Paris uh, in, in the key of a Big Thunder Mountain. And I thought, wow, you know, there's really so many little details here. What well, don't need to be there, but they just are. Because it's Disney and they care and they want to put the little details in uh, for everyone to enjoy. Uh, talking of that, if you've not seen my three new vlogs from Disneyland Paris, check them out they're now online in the vlogs playlist uh, along with that there's a video coming from Panorama Gique, which is the balloon and they've also started construction work on the expansion of Walt Disney Studios we can see how land clearing started uh, behind uh, like Toy Story Playland and the tram tour and um, so yeah like really exciting uh, so that's coming up and like I say check out those vlogs there's a brand new vlog from Blackpool Pleasure Beach that's just come online coming up over the next two days uh, there's gonna be uh, two brand new vlogs from Blackpool from the Merlin attractions 
from the Sea Life Center and also Madame Two Swords. And uh, yeah, so much more. Of course, the weekend we're going to be down at Chessington World of Adventures for the annual pass day, Legoland for the annual pass day. Uh, the following week, of course, starting to go up towards the opening days of Thorpe Park and Alton Towers uh, as the month goes on. You know, so lots to look forward to on the channel. Like, you know, the summer season is starting to kick in now. Uh, the theme parks are all starting to open again. Lots to look forward to on the channel. And of course, regular vlogs uh, here on Theme Park Worldwide. In terms of Planet Coaster, of course, we're coming to the end of this series. I'm going to say there's probably going to be three more episodes because you've got the two working on the next project, um, my final project uh, in this park. And, uh, and then there'll be the wrap up episode where we'll let guests in and, and operate the park again. Um, so yeah, probably three more episodes I'd say. It all depends how long it takes to do this next project that I want to do, um, you know, in, in this game. Like I say, I originally I thought I might wrap it up after doing this area, but you know what, because the game's not lagging too much, let's add another uh, couple of rides in and, and yeah, let's go with it. I nearly gave away what I was going to do then, but uh, there you go. Of course, if you've got any suggestions that you'd like to see in the last couple of episodes of this park, uh, then let me know. I would love to know in the comments on the video. Right, let's have a POV then now, Vlog Flume. Of course, now theming's in all around it. There we are. Oh, we magically got te teleported there to the top of the lift hill. Here we are, going down that first drop. Great uh, interaction there, great views of the uh, wooden bobsleigh. There we go. Obviously, I've not put in the troughs at each side for the water because I've got the, uh, the water underneath. I just think, again, they look more realistic than putting in them big, horrible troughs. Uh, these log flumes are designed to look a bit more like travelling ones than theme park ones, to be honest. And um, here we are, and then we'll uh, teleport again to the top of the lift hill. <laughs> Down we go. Hands in the air and soaked. <laughs> There we are, so yeah, quite a bit of theming round, but nothing too much either. Like I said, I didn't want to go uh, too over the top with that. But uh, there you go, we're coming to the end of this episode. You know, I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Like I said, these are two rides that I've said about putting in this park for quite a while. So, um, you know, I hope you've uh, enjoyed seeing me build the wooden uh, bobsleigh. Here's a POV from that now, from the top of the lift. Ooh, hey, I'm really pleased with how this looks. Even better now, we've got all the trees and landscaping in around it. It picks up really good pace, that, doesn't it? Really, really good. I'd like to build a bigger one of those at some point. If I knew how good it was going to ride, I'd have probably made a bit of a bigger one here. But, you know, there's another big ride to come. So stay tuned for that and join me in the next episode for it. Hey, down we go. <laughs> That's some nice moments on that. I really like it. And there we are, back around the uh, side of the station there. See a little bit more of it this time. So make our way round. Windmill just there and round into the station. They are. Uh, here's a bit of an overview then. Of course, I'll speed the episodes up because there's hours worth of footage goes into making these. It takes a long time. Uh, but here's a little look at them uh, running. So we've got all the uh, trains going around there on the wooden bobsleigh. We've got the boats going around there on the log flume. Just so you can see it there, a bit more perspective without it being uh, sped up. But yeah, keep your suggestions coming in for names, please. I would love uh, some names for both of these and the three new rides. So that means in the, uh, on the pier, sorry. So that means in the next new episode, uh, number 14, I'm going to be uh, reading out five different names. So there you are. If you want a shout out, comment down below. I'll see you in the next video. And thanks for watching.